Does it make any sense for a dentist to wear earplugs? In this video, we're gonna investigate that question, and I'm going to give you some reasons why I think it would be a wonderful idea for you as a dental professional to wear some form of earplug. Because of the moral code that I live by, I feel obliged to explain. I am incredibly one-sided on this issue. I fully believe that dentists and anybody in loud environments or in some form of ototoxic environment should wear earplugs, and I'm gonna want you to wear my earplugs. But just starting out, if this is something that you're really investigating, if it's something that you're really not sure of, if you feel like it's going to impede the way that you work, I want you to try something cheap first. Go out and buy a five cent earplug, then try a $5 earplug, and then try a $10 earplug, and just continue to where you find a great product. If you want something custom, that's what we do at Big Ears. We make custom earplugs, and we specialize in doing earplugs for dentists. And the earplug that I actually have in right this second is the filtered earplug that I would really recommend that you could use every single day. It allows you to hear everything around you, so you're not gonna be occluded in your head, but if the loud sound from whatever tools you're working with or in any environment that you're working in, you're not gonna get damaged from it, but you'll still be able to have conversations and will allow you to keep your dialogue between yourself and your coworkers. And it's going to allow you to stay efficient and effective while you work. Now this product, you have the choice to have a nine, a 15, a 20, a 25, a 30, and a full stop filter plug. You turn this into a full stop earplug. So if you ride motorcycles, if you shoot guns as well as doing dentistry, you can switch out the filters. If you get off work and you're gonna ride your motorcycle home or if you're gonna go to the gun range, you can take out the nine decibel filter and pop in the 30 decibel or I'd recommend the 25 decibel filter for you on a motorcycle or shooting guns and just pop that in. And then depending upon your environment that you're in, if it gets too loud, you can plug the bottom nonlinear filter hole or keep it wide open, I would recommend if you're gonna be working with these, keep that filter hole open and have the nine decibel or the 15 decibel filter in. And what that's going to allow you to do is to be protected, but you can still hear everything around you perfectly clear. Now, with that out of the way, let's go all the way back to the beginning and let's analyze why it would be a good idea for you to at least consider wearing some form of hearing protection while you work. So what I wanna do is I wanna go through a day in the life of a dentist and the things that you're gonna face. So. Initially, you wake up in the morning, get your coffee, whatever it is that you do in your morning routine, and you get in your car. Maybe you listen to loud music to amp you up for the day. Maybe you ride your motorcycle to work. You listen to heavy metal when you ride your bike. Whatever it is that you're doing, you're first getting exposed to wind noise if you're on a motorcycle. If you're listening to loud music, you're getting exposed to those decibels. Then you get into your practice and it's time to start your day. You go through your entire work day, you're working on patients, you're using hand tools, you're using suction. Maybe you have a lab and you have technicians and they're working or yourself, you're working in there and you're exposing yourself consistently to these decibels. Now, you're in this environment and then maybe after work, you're riding your bike back home or you listen to music in your car or a podcast or something loud in your car back home or maybe you go to the gun club after, or maybe you go and you fly, whatever it is that you're doing. I know a lot of dentists that I have conversations with, a lot of doctors that I have conversations with have really expensive hobbies and really loud hobbies. So whatever loud hobby you're doing, maybe you go to a concert. In all of these exposure times, it may not be a one-time exposure where you permanently lose your hearing. And just like that, right there, a motorcycle just passed by outside and the gentleman who's on the motorcycle is getting exposed to the wind. He's getting exposed to those really loud pipes that you could hear. And if you're not protecting yourself against that, if that's you that just rode by the house, you're a dentist who rides motorcycles, first of all, you're awesome. But second of all, you're gonna get exposed to certain decibels. And then one day when you wake up, when you're watching the news, this voice on the TV just sounds off. Well, then. When you get in the car and you listen to the radio, the voices on the talk radio sounds tinny or the music, just something sounds off with it. Then you go to work and you're having a hard time talking to people. You're having to move your head and position your body to where you could hear people talking to you or you have a dreaded ringing in your ears. These are telltale signs that you have hearing loss. This is what I see the most in dentists. It's not damage across the spectrum. What happens to dentists is that you'll start to lose certain frequencies. So where voices come in about the three to 6,000 Hertz, or wherever your dental tool registers on the spectrum is where you'll start to lose those sounds. You'll start to lose those tones and the world around you starts to sound a little tinny at those certain frequencies. And you don't want to overprotect because that creates a whole other bag of issues, but you don't want to underprotect to where you start losing your tones or you think you're protecting yourself, but then you still get hearing loss and it can be a very bad thing. So 
the reality is, is you have to figure out by going and retrospectively looking at what your life is, what your habits are, what your hobbies are, what you're doing in your lifestyle, the medications that you're taking because certain medications can cause you permanent hearing loss, tinnitus, and other very, very, very bad things. Because what can happen is the inner ear cells in your cochlea can harden up when you're taking these antibiotics or if you're taking these certain medications and you go to expose yourself to a loud dental tool or you go to a show, you're riding your motorcycle, shooting guns, and those inner ear hair cells can snap off and it can lead to tinnitus or any of these other maladies that are just absolutely terrible and it's something that I never wanna see somebody face. We don't really think that bad hearing can cause any kind of malady, but what I ask you to do is go put in a pair of hearing aids or put in a set of electronic hearing protection or if you're a shooter, you know what electronic hearing protection feels like. That's what the world begins to sound like if you have hearing loss. So you once had something that was great and now it's just gone and you can't do anything to get it back in the hearing aids you put in. All they do is just lighten your wallet and there's really nothing you can do at the end of the day to bring your hearing back. So what my objective is, is to give you good information and to wake you up and kind of shake you and let you know that you need to start taking your hearing serious. Just like you have conversations with people about taking good care of their dental hygiene. And I know 90% of your patients do not floss after they see you. I understand that is something that, yeah, we get told about, but it's something we put off. I live with it every single day. I talk to thousands of people every single year and they're either losing their hearing or they're on their way to losing their hearing and it's something I continue to talk about, but the message for whatever reason is hard to get through until somebody loses their hearing and then they change their lifestyle. If you just get ahead of the problem, make sure you find the right products for your habits and your lifestyle because I'm not in your shoes. I can't just directly give you something right now on a video that's gonna help you have a more comfortable lifestyle and protect you from the decibels that you face. You have to understand the habits and the hobbies that you have that are damaging your ears every single day. So what I'd like for you to do, I want you to send me an email or I want you to give me a phone call so I can help you find the right product. It may not be my product and I'm completely fine with that. I wanna make sure that you can have the ideal product for your lifestyle, depending upon if you have a radio communicator or tactical piece in your lab, whether you shoot guns, if you ride motorcycles, if you're a skydiver, if you're gonna be flying airplanes, if you're going to be doing all these incredibly loud things on top of working in your dental practice. And we will find a product that will get you ahead of the curve so you don't have to worry about not having your hearing when you get into the golden years of your life. So I wanna thank you so much for watching and I'll hear you later.